phones are capable of doing some amazing things. For instance, I can hold up my phone at that restaurant and read its reviews. I can also find out the closest bars, the nearest tube stations, and if I'm interested in a building or a statue, I can just hold up my phone and read its Wikipedia entry. This is all due to augmented reality, or AR for short. You see, AR is about placing appropriate content in your camera's field of view. It knows where you and your camera are exactly, thanks to GPS, and what direction the camera is pointing, thanks to its compass. So it can superimpose information about what you're looking at. You'll need a few things before your phone is AR capable. Firstly, an internet connection, compass, a camera, GPS, and preferably a data plan. So really, it's for those with an Android device or an iPhone 3GS. Richard Leyland is the founder of WorkSnug, a new iPhone augmented reality app that connects mobile workers with places nearby. Richard, can you tell us how it works? Sure. So WorkSnug is an application for mobile workers. And we've sent small teams of reviewers around big cities in the world. And we've reviewed coffee shops, cafes, libraries, all those places that have Wi-Fi. And we've reviewed them for real human criterion, like noise levels, power provision, what does the coffee taste like? And we present that information as an AR app so that users in a city can just hold their phone up and be directed to the best place to do a bit of work. WorkSnug automatically goes into camera view in landscape mode and shows all the places you can work nearby. If you tilt the phone up, you can see places that are further away. Click on an icon to view the user-generated ratings and comments, like how noisy it is, whether there's free Wi-Fi, and the general community vibe. Bring the phone down suddenly and it flips into map mode. WorkSnug is currently live in four cities, New York, San Francisco, London and Barcelona. And at the end of the month, it will be available in 10 cities around the world. Another interesting AR app is called Across Air, which sadly only works on the iPhone 3GS. It's basically an augmented reality browser, very similar to the popular layer. But the best way for me to explain it is to show you. So let's take a closer look. When you launch across air, you will see a menu of contextual layers categorized for local discovery. For instance, there is nearest wiki that shows information about the landmarks nearby. Le Bar Guide by Stella Artois shows all the closest bars and pubs, very useful if you are in need of a cold pint. Beck's Gig Finder shows all the local places to see a live show. Listen in on other people's Twitter thoughts with nearest tweets. If you're looking for a restaurant, you can choose between Google, Yelp, Quipe and Big to see a list of restaurants and read reviews. The days of holding up your mobile phone to look at augmented reality may be short-lived because soon it will be in sunglasses and soon after that, most likely in your contact lenses. Well, that is according to Ken Blakesley. So this is a real step towards that, I think, because even though this is for the PC, the next step is sunglasses that actually have the screens right in them and let you walk down the street and see this information as you turn your head and as you walk along. I think the eyeglasses have a, a, a quite an important role to play. There's talk about also having augmented realities and kind of implemented in the contact lens mm -hmm. or in your yeah. eyes. Can you talk us through that? It would be an interesting development uh, to be able to put contact lenses in and watch a movie. I wonder whether it's possible, because there's a battery problem, there's, a, there's a, a wireless problem, how do you get the content to the contact lenses? But the fact that that's all being worked on, it really bodes well for everything in between. And I think that's probably, they're saying it's 10, 10 to 20 years off. It's still early days for augmented reality, and we've barely scratched the surface. But one thing's for sure, we're going to see a lot less of these and more of these. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla Mackey and see you guys next time.